better off in the custody of the government, and that is exactly what is happening here in every single case. State representatives are getting a closer look for themselves of the conditions immigrants are being held in. They're just one of many groups of lawmakers that have toured facilities here in the Valley. Today's visit in Donna. CBS 4 Sandra Garcia joins us live outside the facility tonight with more on what the representatives saw. Sandra. Nicole, Chris, members of the Mexican-American Legislative Caucus toured the Donna facility this morning. Trips they say need to continue if they want to see any change in immigration policy. It's ridiculous and it's not a system that's meant to work and it's an inhumane system. The Valley has seen a number of government leaders from across the country come to see what many have called a crisis here. But for Texas lawmakers... It's not just one and done. You know, we want to make sure that we continue to visit them, make sure that uh, people are treated humanely, that there is due process uh, in the system and that they are clean. State representatives from Austin, Houston, and the RGV, among others, were present today. We hear stories on the news, but we hear varying accounts. We hear conflicting accounts, even from our own administration. So as leaders in the state of Texas, it was important for us to come and see here what was happening. Witnessing for themselves where thousands of undocumented immigrants have been housed after seeking asylum. Many saying that the conditions of the Donna holding facility are much better now than in the past. There was no cages. Uh, people did have access to food, to showers, uh, to bathrooms, which is something that we wanted to make sure was happening, and we did see that today. It's visits like these that need to continue, Martinez says. We don't think that it's something that, hey, we're going to come in a couple times, uh, say hello, uh, leave. I think we're going to continue to visit these facilities to make sure that people are treated the right way. And expect to see a difference in immigration policy because of it. We can't get numb to this, what's happening. And I think seeing it here in person um, helps us to remember the human element to these stories. Now, these state representatives tell us that CBP confirms they will be building a tent facility on site for men within the next few weeks. Live in Donna with complete Valley coverage, Sandra Garcia, CBS4 Valley at 6.